Good morning, friends. Today is November the 8th, 2015. And today I will talk to you about Windows 10 and why I think Windows 10 is a piece of crap. Nearly every day I'm getting phone calls from people. Help! My computer is dead. Help! My computer will not boot. I have a blue screen. Help me. I know these people and the last time I looked at the PC, everything was fine. Yeah, and so I'm trying to, you know, troubleshoot it. I ask when does it, when did it start and so on. And the answer I usually get is, well, it started right after I upgraded to Windows 10. And I'm already sitting at my desk and bang my head onto my desk. Why did he, she upgrade to Windows 10? Their machine was perfectly fine. Yeah? Mostly people tell me, well, I had to upgrade. Microsoft told me in all those windows, I have to upgrade to Windows 10. No, you don't. You don't have to upgrade to Windows 10. It is advertising, asking you to upgrade. As you can see here on my little Windows uh, Media PC, it's still running Windows 8.1. I might get here some uh, uh, bad comments about it, but I like Windows 8.1. It's a good operating system. Windows 8 was crap. Windows 8.1, in my opinion, is good. So I have not upgraded any of my computers here at home to Windows 10. Yeah. First of all, what I really don't like about Windows 10 is, it is free. Now you ask me, why does this guy not like free? It's America. We like here free. Yes, it is America. And here is nothing free. Nothing. How do you think Google is financing all your searches for this and that? They are not just good people sitting there trying to help you. No, they make money. They make money with your data, data mining. Yeah. So far, Microsoft was not so big on data mining, and but now with Windows 10, they go in full bore data mining. Yeah, in order to uh, make a, a request with Cortana, this voice control thing in Windows 10, of course Cortana has to have access to your data. When you ask Cortana, uh, what is the phone number of Aunt Mary, Cortana has to look into your address book. And because Cortana is not running locally, it runs on a Microsoft server, this information must be transferred to Microsoft. And what else they are doing with information? Who knows? Well, the fact is, Windows 10 is not free. You pay for it. You pay for it with your data, with whatever you do on the computer. This is something I don't want from my operating system. Yeah? When I go to Google, I type in, search me the best prices for Coca-Cola. I know Google will take this information and knows now this guy likes Coca-Cola and I do. But my operating system on my computer is always present. Yeah? I don't want that anything I'm just doing maybe offline on my computer is broadcast, transmitted all over the world. Not that I'm doing anything wrong, okay? Don't get me wrong. I was working with quite a lot of computers uh, where my customers wanted me to install Windows 10 on it, where it simply did not work. Yeah, machines as new as maybe a year old, as old as three years old, it would not install. On other machines, blue screens, crashes, there is something wrong with the driver. Yeah, but I found out that the driver issue becomes even more prominent when you make a fresh install. Somehow all those fresh install drivers, 
they are is more prone to error than if you just upgrade your existing installation. I had USB not working, Wi-Fi not working, uh, the NVIDIA driver is crashing, all the stuff. When I see that, I get the feeling Windows 10, it feels like Windows Vista, another crappy operating system. Yeah. All these problems I just described to you, with Windows 10, I never had upgrading a machine from Windows 7, for example, to Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Never. It was always a, a relatively clean install. And now Windows 10, Windows Vista, Windows 10 equals Windows Vista. So, Microsoft says, when your computer runs well, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, your computer will also run just fine Windows 10. Not so. In, in most cases, this is true. It will run somehow, but in older com computers, yeah, you have to know, for example, yeah, Windows 10 requires uh, DirectX 9 in, in order to run. Do you have DirectX 9 on your computer? You don't know what DirectX, DirectX 9 is? Hmm. Maybe then you shouldn't upgrade. Yeah? Ignore those upgrade inf information in, in, your, in your taskbar. So, what is my suggestion for you what to do? Well, if you are running right now Windows 7, don't do anything. You are good. Your computer most likely works fine and when there are some problems with Windows 7, it most likely will get worse when you put Windows 10 on it. But when you are a Windows XP user, a Windows Vista user, just buy a new computer, okay, no upgrade anymore, it's done, it's cooked. Just get a, at least a cheap computer. Even a cheap computer is better than this 10, 15 year old box you proudly bought uh, years ago at Costco or wherever you buy computers. Costco. When you have Windows 8, upgrade to 8.1 if you still can do it. If you have Windows 8.1, like I do, still proud owner of Windows 8.1, well, when you are one of those people who uh, have a bad opinion about Windows 8.1, well, just upgrade to Windows 10. I don't recommend it, but please, yeah, I'm staying with Windows 8.1. It's a good operating system. I'm not saying that one day I will not have Windows 10, but this will be far down the line. Because you must understand, what you are right now downloading, yeah, this operating system, uh, Windows 10, is right now three months old. There are so many problems with Windows 10, so many bugs. You don't want the first one on the block to try out something Pretty untested. Wait. Wait six months. Wait 12 months until the first service pack was released or whatever they release now for Windows 10. It is not worth it for such a stupid operating system like Windows 10 yeah, to risk the health of your computer. All right. Okay, well, uh, I guess you also would like to know how to uninstall uh, these little Windows notification icons. I will do that right now. So how to remove this, uh, these Windows 10 update notifications? Yep. In my case, go to the charms bar, you click on search, and in the search window you type W U. A P P and there it is. This is a Windows updater. We are launching it now and there it is. 
Looks nice. All right. Down here, installed updates. You click on installed updates. And there it is. These are all the updates your computer has ever received in regards to Microsoft Windows. And we are looking for a very specific update. Yeah, it starts with KB303. Five five eight three. So I don't have any more, of course, this update on my computer. Yeah, when you then finally uh, find it, I'm just now choosing here anything. You click on it. It's not that one. I will put in the video again the name of the update. You click on this one, and you you see here, uninstall. You click on uninstall. And then just follow the uh, prompts on the screen. You have to reboot the, the machine in order to finish the uninstall. Yeah. And guess what? As soon as you boot back up to your desktop, at least in Win Windows 8.1, it is still there. Yep, you uninstalled it, everything looks good. You boot back up to the desktop, it is still there. So in the taskbar, the little Microsoft uh, Windows logo is still present. I don't have it. I removed it. You know what? You have to do it all over again. You have to do it a second time. Yeah? Do a second time what I just told you. Yeah? You go to the charms bar. In my case, you click on search. You type in W-U-A-P-P -P, and hit enter. There it is. You go down to installed updates. Very nice. And now it populates everything. And you select again uh, the update, which actually just brings you those stupid notification messages. And you click on uninstall. Again, what I just selected is not the update in question. I already removed it from that computer. After you uninstalled it for the second time, please just follow the instructions on the screen and you reboot. Voila! It is gone! Wow! You need to uninstall it two times. But, of course, there is a catch. It will again come back sooner or later. In order to prevent that, you have to hide the update. Yeah, this specific update, not all updates. Again, you go to search, W-U-A-P-P, -P, there it is. There's a window, yeah. You click on check for updates. It will then do its thing, checking for updates. And uh, under the uh, important updates, not the optional ones, after a while, when <coughs> When you click on it, after a while, when you click on it, uh, you will see again the update which I just told you. Yeah, KB035583. Huh. It wants to be installed again. And in order to avoid that, yeah, I'm just giving you here now an example. It is not the update uh, I would like to remove. I don't have it anymore. Yeah, we just go now to any update in order when you don't want to uh, use, uh, have a certain update downloaded, you just select it. Again, it is not the update in question. You just select it and then you right click on it. And another window opens. You see here, hide update, hide update. You click on hide update. Yeah, and now it is hidden as you can see. Here the checkbox is grayed out. It will disappear when the next time you boot into Windows Update, you will not see it anymore. It is hidden. It will not install. All right, my friends, I think I talked enough here. This was my rant about Windows 10. Don't do it. Windows 10 is a crappy operating system. I really don't like it. Some people argue, well, hey, I think it's a great operating system, yeah? Don't listen to, uh, to this person, 
there's no need for you to update. Okay? Well, have a great Sunday. Please watch out for my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.